In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel, according to St. Matthew, chapter 12, verses 31 through to 37. Therefore I say to you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven men. Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him, but whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven him, either in this age or in the age to come. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad and its fruit bad, for a tree is known by its fruit. Brood of vipers, how can you, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. A good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, brings forth good things. And an evil man, out of the evil treasure, brings forth evil things. But I say to you that for every idle word men speak, may speak, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of the words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful disciples. This reading today from St. Matthew is talking about blasphemy. Every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men, but against the Spirit will not be forgiven men. The Spirit of God. Blasphemy is against Jesus. Of course, many people didn't understand what Jesus was about, who he was. But the Holy Spirit, yes, that is different. We know what the Holy Spirit is about. The Spirit of God. Towards the end of this reading, we need to sort of focus in on... Earlier on, he gives examples about either make a good, a good tree and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad and its fruit bad. For a tree is known by its fruit. If you are a good Christian, people will know you are by the, what you produce, and especially from the mouth. And we are reminded here at the end, for by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. just before that verse but I say to you that every idle word men may speak they will give account of it on the day of judgment when we are in front of the Lord 
on Judgment Day. We will have to answer for all the things that we have done, for all the words that we have spoken. Yes, for all those idle, bad words that we speak, for all those words that hurt people, we have to answer for that. You've heard of the saying, silence is golden. Yes, it is. We keep our mouths shut. We can't get hurt. We can't hurt people. This is a part of the meaning of this silence is golden. We can't get ourselves into trouble if we keep silent. But then on the other hand too, we must not always be silent. For out of the mouth comes glory to God. Professing our faith giving God the glory and blessings. This is good. To blaspheme is bad. To give God the glory is good. And that is why I so often say to you, give God the glory for all things in your lives. I know it sounds a bit like a broken record that goes over and repeats itself all the time. Well, hopefully it might sink in eventually. For by your words you will be justified. And by your words you will be condemned. Keep a guard on your mouth. Less out of your mouth comes terrible words. Anyone who spanks evil against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven. We have a contrite heart. And that is also for the Holy Spirit. God will never spurn a contrite heart. We have told that in Scripture. Yes. Being, how can you, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks comes from your heart. Yes, evil comes from your heart, but also love does too. The question is, which is stronger in you? Love or hatred? Love. From our hearts, we speak love. We glorify God. We praise Him always. So important. It is so important. Yes. Give Him the glory every day. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.